Well, everything starts with an insight. Um, so we're very insights driven in terms of our creative approach. Um, what we're trying to do is solve for, um, find the white space for a consumer. And we're trying to differentiate in the market because there it's so crowded now. So every space that we work in across all of our clients, even if they have a unique selling point, um, it's really, really hard to differentiate that because you have the first three to five seconds you're trying to get your message across. And you're trying to build this kind of cultural value with a consumer, something that goes beyond just features and functionality and a brand name. Um, so we really try to dig in and find a very specific insight that we can tap into. And um, we try to tie that um, directly into the creative um, and the video. And then one of the things that we've been seeing a lot lately is that uh, designing for the sound off environment is a really big key to underscoring those differentiators that we're getting in there. So we're really um, taking kind of the traditional video approach where we're creating these videos that are, you know, like 30 second spots, but then we're layering some classic digital marketing um, performance items on top. So, you know, underscoring the points we're making with words on screen which is a really interesting mix because uh, I think in the past you would think that that's more like, uh, you know, an infomercial. So you have to get really clever about it and you have to be impactful and you have to really make a package of graphics that looks great and feels integrated versus just putting words on screen. Um, so that's a lot of what we've been doing to really um, combine how someone is consuming the content with the message we're trying to get out there. So what's really interesting is that a lot of our clients are consumer packaged goods companies. And with consumer packaged goods companies, we definitely want to look at how our, you know, instant, well, we're talking about video today. So we want to look at and see how the video is performing and we're using sort of traditional metrics for that. But also, from a campaign perspective, ultimately what we're trying to do is drive foot traffic into stores. And so that is a whole nother um, set of measurement tools. So we really have to coordinate very well with um, shopper marketing and try to see if both in-store foot traffic we can, we can measure, we can show that someone is near a store or entered a store. It's hard to know that they pulled the product off the shelf because of your ad, but you're trying to get as close as you can with that. And then there's a lot of coordination with shopper marketing from an online perspective as well. So what are we doing with Amazon? What are we doing with Walmart? What are we doing with Target? How do those things look similar? Um, what's fascinating about the way consumers shop for packaged goods is that they're using some of those channels to do their research, but buying in store. So when you're going on Amazon, you're not necessarily going on Amazon, putting it in your cart and taking it, you know, getting it sent to your house. You may be going on Amazon to look at the product, um, see what the ingredients are, see what sizes it comes in, and then go to the store with that information. So as a marketer, it's a whole new world because a lot of these um, retail environments online um, have also become research environments. And there's also um, click and collect, which, you know, as you probably know, is a big push for our Target and Walmart right now is how they're competing with Amazon. And we market a lot to moms. So what's interesting about marketing to moms is that um, a lot of times they actually find it easier to pick it up at the store while they're out and about than to try to be home for a package when it gets there. You know, they may live in an apartment, they may live in a property where they don't feel their package is safe or they need to sign for their package. So it's actually much easier to um, buy it online and then collect it in store. So um, that is a part of our measurement as well. So a, a whole bunch of new ways of um, looking at how things are performing um, holistically. We're working on um, Jennifer Garner's new brand called Once Upon a Farm. It is an organic baby food brand, but it is different than any other baby food brand or any other organic baby food brand in that it is sold in the refrigerated section. So if you go to stores that sell high-end dog food, you'll see that almost every high-end dog food store sells refrigerated dog food as well. But in most of America today, if you are looking for baby food, almost all of it is shelf stable. There is really no brand out there that is selling fresh baby food or baby food in the refrigerated section. And so it's sort of a no-brainer, right? I mean, if you are someone who would love to make fresh baby food for your baby but can't make it all the time, don't have the time sometimes, don't have the bandwidth, 
there's really not an option that is refrigerated um, that's available nationwide. And what I think is really interesting about this brand is that it has someone who's amazing at making content and has um, a very broad audience at the forefront, uh, someone who really cares about health and nutrition for children, um, but also a completely different approach to market and a real differentiator. It's great to have a differentiator. It's great to be cold pressed and in the refrigerated section, but it's also a challenge, right? Because if you're used to shopping for baby food, you're not going to the refrigerated section. You're going to the baby aisle where they sell shelf stable food. So what's been great for us is to take on that challenge. I think um, in telling that story, we have a great voice of the story and Jennifer Garner is actually the voiceover of the spot. Um, but really the story that we need to tell is not only that this is you know, a great alternative when you can't make fresh baby food or, or um, you just wanna serve fresh food to your baby, but also we need to tell the story of where you find it in the store. Because it doesn't matter if we get someone super interested in it and the video works and the other content pieces works, if they can't find it, they're not taking it home. So the challenge was to incorporate those two ideas. And um, it's always super fun to work on something where there is a point of differentiation. There is something that can make you stand out from the competitors. Um, but we also really worked hard to make sure that the creative itself was very clear about where you find the product.